for the Bears, a tricky question looms. Caleb Williams or Justin Fields? Caleb Williams may or may not be the NFL's next great quarterback. Justin Fields may or may not be a viable NFL franchise quarterback still in the making. There really is no way of knowing. That is the case even with a prospect as celebrated as Williams, the former Heisman Trophy winner at Southern California, who is widely expected to be the first player chosen in the NFL draft in April. Things simply must play out, but the Chicago Bears aren't able to allow things to play out. They have a consequential decision to make. They must predict and project, and they cannot be wrong. All that's at stake is the on-field future of their franchise for the next decade or so. The Bears possess the no one pick in the draft, courtesy of last year's trade with the Carolina Panthers that enabled the Panthers to move up and use the top selection on quarterback Bryce Young. The Bears also have fields on their roster. Three seasons into his NFL career, he has not developed into an upper-tire quarterback, but he has demonstrated some signs of being a capable starter. The Bears could keep the no one pick and use it on Williams an approach that probably would entail them trading fields, or they could retain fields, trade the top draft choice for a major haul of other selections, and perhaps players, to fortify the roster. Of course, if the Bears believe Williams is a transformative player, a quarterback prospect too good to pass up no matter the trade offer, it's not much of a decision. I lean heavily in favor of taking Caleb Williams, Daniel Jeremiah, a draft analyst for the NFL Network, said last week. Unless you've got the offer of all offers, which is a combination of picks and players that is literally too good to turn down, it'd have to blow me away to move off of that pick. There aren't perfect players. Caleb is not a perfect player. Caleb is going to require some patience and assembly there. But the ability is off the charts. This NFL draft class is top-heavy with prominent quarterbacks. It's possible that Williams, North Carolina's Drake May, and LSU's Jaden Daniels will be the first three players taken in April. But as the draft evaluation process intensifies for teams this week at the NFL Scouting Combine in Indianapolis, so much revolves around Williams and the Bears' decision. They also have the draft's no. 9 pick. I think you've got to be smart about how you get him going and get him up and running. Jeremiah said of Williams, but I think the upside there. The tools there are pretty dang elite. And while I hear the argument of build up the whole roster and think about the whole team, I'm like, yeah, well, I know one or two Super Bowls every 10 years you'll get a Nick Foles magic carpet ride with an unbelievable team. The rest of them seem to be won by the Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady's of the world. The elite guys. The Bears have not yet tipped their hand. Shane Waldron, their new offensive coordinator, said at his introductory news conference last week he's confident his system will work with other fields or a rookie at quarterback. Waldron said he'd exchanged messages with fields. When he was asked what intrigued him about the Bears' quarterback situation, he mentioned both the draft choice situation and the state of the current roster. Obviously, it's a unique spot in the draft to have the first overall pick, the ninth overall pick, Waldron said. Just from an organization in general, it's not going to happen too often. And then also a core group of players that are already in place on offense, including the quarterback, that played at a high level and have displayed the ability to win football games and make plays. Fields said last week on SD. Brown Brothers, the podcast hosted by NFL wide receivers Amon Roa and Equinemius St. Brown, that of course he wants to stay with the Bears, adding, I can see myself playing in another place. But mostly, he said, he wants to know the outcome. It's a business, Fields said on the podcast. I ain't got no control over it. So whatever happens, happens. But I feel like the biggest thing with all this going on right now, I just want it to be over.